I was thinking about you. I was going to tell you this last week, but I was thinking about you. And I don't know what you'd be doing around the house, like around the kitchen, but I just seen you like singing, but you weren't singing. You was, it wasn't even like a moan. I don't even know what it is, but you were just in this moment. And God said, just tell her that I'm completing that that I started. I y'all know, say by higher. Wait, wait, pause, pause. Listen to me. I'm coming back. But when you went into worship just then, I saw a, like a net go towards you. And I see some writings. And God said, I'm breathing on the pages. And God said, I'm putting the pieces together. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what significance this would be to you. But God said, I'm going to give you back the year 2014. Uh, and God said, everything you lost around the, 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 the top of the summer to the mid of 2014, God said, you're in the Joel 2 of your life. I am restoring the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm. Matter of fact, in this year, 20, 2014, the enemy tried to hold you to a place, but he did not know that while you were in this place, that God was birthing a prophet on the inside of you. You're not crazy, sir. What you hear is what you hear. God said, I'm going to take these next couple of months to years, and I'm going to train the prophetic on the inside of you. And the Lord said, everything I show you, you may not be able to speak, but I'm going to make myself prove who you are my and the Lord said to tell you yeah I'm even getting ready to bring your family out I'm not talking about just one of them cliches your family coming out no there's some things that you've been kind of carry on your shoulder financing and doing some stuff and trying to support but it's getting a little heavy but the Lord said I'm getting ready to bring them out I got a message called up and now God said to tell you I'm bringing you up and out oh I wish I had about 13 of y'all that'll give God a praise like you understand. Yeah. Oh. And I need you to hear me. Uh, come here real quick. Just come stand right here for me. I need you to hear me. Hear me real good. You will never be stuck in a mode called the church. Hear me. God getting ready to prove to you that he's God. I hear you, Holy Ghost. He said, remind him of what I showed him in June. Mm, my God. <laughs> it scares you, but God said, I'm still going to do it. Ananso tebanso. There's even a healing taking place in your physical body. Something you don't even talk about much. But God said, I'm getting ready to prove to you I am God. I need as many of you that will stretch your hands this way. Because God said, what I'm getting ready to do for this man, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. God said, don't allow the church to poison you. Don't allow, oh my God, I hear you. He said, the letter killeth, but spirit giveth life. Lift your hand. God said, there's a word that's getting ready to come out your belly. Did not the Bible say, we got to teach the word as the word. The Bible said that you shall become an living, a living epistle read by men I need you to hear what I'm saying there's some stuff that you're gonna say that may not line up with John Paul Peter and James but God said men when they see you they're gonna see the father if they only knew what you came out of see people try to assume but they don't know but in the name of Jesus he said I'm getting ready to pull you up and out I need somebody to wave your hand and give them glory Shonda ho 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 hey Shonda I I need a praiser here. Give me a high five, baby. And it is. So. I feel like prophesying. I'm not going to put you on the spot. But I decree and declare that in 36 days, I said I'm not going to put her on the spot. But I need somebody to wave your hand. Just look at me. But in 36 days, 
this. God said everything you lost. I'm getting ready to make it happen so fast. It's going to make your head swim. Oh, shucks here. I know you're a little comfortable. But God said I'm getting ready to give you your own shot. People are going to work for you. You was like, God, is there any? He said, tell her. I need somebody to shout 36. 30. 6, 7, 8, 9. If you flip the 6 and the 3 and add them together, 6 and 3 is 9. 9 represents birthing. I dare you wave at her and say birthing. Somebody ought to shout birthday this time. Somebody shout birthday this time. Birthday. Birthday this time. Whatever you do, get rid of the excuse. Just wave at her. And say birthday. Birthday. You're going to have multiple locations. I told you to walk. I told you to leave. You didn't make a mistake. For they. Yeah. Yeah. Do great exports yeah. and he walks with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say birthday this time. Father, we thank you. We thank you. I'm done. Lord, I gotta go here. Stretch your hands this way. Yeah, I know. Meet me at midnight on Facebook Live. Don't go to sleep. Hold that phone by your head. <laughs> 36 days. Ah, y'all know. Who I felt that. Somebody shout 36 days. And he walks with me. Huh? People will leave you. Church will reject you. And he walks with me. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands and throw your head back. I say, Lord, I sow my seed because I understand principle. You give seed to the sower, bread to the eater. Everybody standing on your feet, we're out of time. If you know that you're getting rid of the excuse, one more time, musicians, if you believe it, while you're standing on your feet, if you can, clap your hands, open up your mouth, and bless. Come on, Pastor B, close us out. I said, bless the Lord. I said, clap your hands. Come on, Come Zion. On. If you need to give, they're still giving. They're still giving. Come on, somebody, clap your hands one more time. Come on, after that word, somebody clap your hands one more time. Yeah, yeah, what are you carrying? It's time to unpack those bags. I do honor the Lord tonight for the ministry gift of Dr. Franklin. So I tell you, tonight the Lord met me here. Trials and tribulations unexpected situations he's still God all hell breaking loose in your life he's still God but one thing that we must take from this place tonight is to stop letting folks drop things in your bag we're closing but it was funny to me that today uh, we were running around with some of the elders and pastors and uh, we were coming down and this thing behind me looked real good. It was like a picture moment, um, photo op. But I didn't know how God was going to use that photo opportunity to speak to me tonight. I had my Louis bag, the duffel bag. 
And Pastor B had his phone out. I said, Doc, snap my picture and send it to me. And I began to think about the things that he was saying tonight. And right before service, I told him, I said, make sure you know how I am, but I said, make sure you send me my pictures. And he forgot about it. And right before service started, he shot the pictures to my inbox. And when I thought about how I look carrying that bag and how heavy the bag really was with books and Bibles and study materials and my cell phones and my MacBook and it was a heavy bag. Tonight was for me. The enemy tries to distract us and, and to weigh us down with the things that we're carrying. His word declared that we may have life and have it more abundantly, but I do believe that there's no way for us to totally or fully walk in the abundance of who he is in us if we're waited. Uh, why do I make that point, Auntie? Because he said, whom the sun sets free. Yeah, so if there's freedom, just like the bird fly, flies freely, just like the fish swim freely, he wants us to be free in him. So tonight I say lay aside every weight that so easily besets you. Um, after tonight, if you begin to unpack your bag, brother, I thank God for you being here tonight. Our conversation that you gave me the other day, brother to brother, unpack your bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in the room tonight. And I, I didn't even believe he was going to come. But I'm telling you, God has something in store for us. And I believe everyone tonight, because of what our ears have heard and for what our eyes have seen, if we slap obedience on that, God is going to blow your mind. He's going to blow your mind. As we stand on our feet, as we close, let us remember, uh, Dr. B said, let us meet him on Facebook Live tonight. Last night it was a blessing. If you watched it, clap your hands. If you didn't watch it, make sure you meet him there tonight because there's a blessing at that midnight hour. From midnight to 3 a.m., that's when the powers that aren't the power of God are working. Uh, that's when the people are up who are, are plotting schemes against you, drinking, smoking, doing everything, thinking evil plots against you. Uh, that's the hour for you to begin to pray. Uh, not war because everything ain't our fight. But to pray and give it to God. So tonight at midnight, meet Dr. B on Facebook Live. Tomorrow morning. 12 days of prayer and fasting. Come on, if you fasted today, clap your hands. I'm with Dr. B. My mouth is dry <laughs> because I'm hungry. The fast lifted at 2 p.m., but I think some of us have been going all day and hadn't eaten yet. But I encourage you, I admonish you to join us for the 12 days of fasting and prayer. I believe that God is going to do something supernaturally on the inside of us that's not only going to work out for us, but it's going to begin to affect our families. It's going to begin to transform our communities. It's going to cause an awakening on our jobs. That hell hacker that keeps bothering you is going to straighten up and, and, and turn around and flee. In how many ways? I say 10,000 ways. You hear me? But God is able to do everything that we need him to do midnight tonight uh, 6 a.m. in the morning Facebook live Father's House International there's a blessing in your obedience there's a blessing in your yeah it may seem strange it may feel weird but there's a blessing in it may get uncomfortable but I promise you it's going to get tight but it's going to be right your obedience as we bow our heads Lord we thank you for this day God we thank you for another time to praise honor and glorify your name we thank you for what our ears have heard and our eyes have seen God we thank you for the ministry gift of Dr. Bernard Franklin 
But God, most of all, we thank you for who you are in our lives. Allow for us to come into the full fulfillment of who you have called us to be. So that not we can only be the people, but we can be the kingdom nation. That's going to turn a dying world around. Touch everyone here individually so that we can be a more collective body. We bless your name, give you honor and praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. What I say unto one, I say unto all, watch and pray. You are dismissed.